Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'm gonna take a closer look at this uh, Werner, this is the, the Painter's Pry Bar with Hammer Cap. Um, it's a pry bar that I didn't have one in this shape. Um, looks a little bit sacrificial, but it looks super sturdy as well. Um, and I thought I'd uh, show it to you. I got it in the paint section rather than the tool section. Um, Werner has been around since 1927. It's a US company, but a lot of stuff's made overseas. Um, in their product line, I think they advertise like 250 American made tools, but um, they do have a, a big chunk made overseas. They actually, in their catalog, uh, color code them for American made. And there is something very similar to this with a different handle that's American made that I'd like to track down. But anyway, the Werner Company, um, you might know them. If you've seen one of these, they, I believe, were the first uh, company to patent this in the 1930s. This, this kind of a single blade retractable utility knife. And in fact, this might be one. Um, looking at the, the structure, the shape, um, the, you know, kind of the construction online, this might be one of the early ones. Um, made in USA. Uh, it doesn't have their company name on it anywhere. I showed you the price, 89 cents, so it's probably not that new, or not that old either. Um, but they look just like this, their initial patent. But anyway, they make, uh, the Werner Company makes all kinds of solutions for putty knives and drywall work and painting and all sorts of things and a lot of nuance kind of stuff, which means basically that it looks similar, but they have a whole line with slight differences between them that, you know, the pros would notice. Uh, but anyway, what I noticed about this, not being a pro, is that this handle just doesn't fit very well. It doesn't feel very good. And I was a little concerned, so I actually took my tool here, kind of my Milwaukee oscillating tool there and ground it down. Um, to try to make it smoother. I wish that was a little bit smoother there. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like a solid design. I think that's hollow. It's got some air in there, um, but I'm not terribly worried about breaking it. What I wanted was just a beefy tool that I could beat on with a hammer um, for small kind of prying situations where I wanted a larger blade. You know, I love going to these. Uh, most of these things are straight or they have 90 degree bends or they get really thick really fast. Um, S-Wing, this is a nice solid, solid little one, but you can see the angles, totally different. Um, anyway, this is a, um, not a bad tool, it seems. Just needs a little bit of cleanup. I might buff that out, because this is pretty uh, pretty rough here. But it's a, um, it's, it's a keeper in my book. Um, if you want an inexpensive pry bar, um, check out the paint section. And with that, dock out.